Like many southern towns, Hattiesburg was founded on the railroad. However, over time, as many downtowns in the south can attest, retail moved out. Uh, they moved to other corridors, whether it was the mall or whether it was, in our case, out into West Hattiesburg. And so uh, for a couple of decades, people have really tried to kickstart redevelopment back in our downtown in the core of our city. And a lot of creative people are coming together to, to really rethink what downtown can and should be, a place for everyone. And it's been exciting to see the energy that we have in our city right now, particularly in our downtown. It's important to have those entrepreneurial spirits, the people who have those creative minds who can you know, have the, the want to and the know-how to get out and take a chance. Uh, and it's a scary thing for people to get into, but you have people like Wade and Ramona who can take that plunge and jump out there with the faith that they know they can make it work. We wanted to be a part of bringing back the downtown and revitalizing and just making, because Hattiesburg's a really, really cool town. We built some other businesses for other companies, uh, been hired. Me as a professional counselor with a business background, Ramona having been a, a, a former professional counselor in Missouri, uh, and now specializing in uh, children and family as a consultant. And we bought these buildings downtown Hattiesburg that my father and his law partners had owned since 1973. And it was a bit, uh, caused a bit of anxiety, I guess, at first to have a, a family of four young kids and then to start a start new business from scratch. And we did that with developing the Cornerstone Group. So we did that and you know, we've got a lot of energy and we had a, a lot, lot of space. Space and a lot of, space. of ideas. We have seven office fronts and three large basements in downtown Hattiesburg. And, and then two lofts that go across the tops of these buildings. So we had a lot of space and, you know, thought, what's next? Before we started any of these businesses, and particularly the most recent because of coding and zoning in a basement off an alley, we decided to talk to uh, our mayor. Places like Wade and Ramona's axe throwing bar and the smash room, those take creative place making to another level. And whether it's visitors from out of town or whether it's the mayor and his wife on a Saturday night, uh, we enjoy taking part in what they offer. And, and it really has provided a new dimension of that creative place making and just that quality of life that Hattiesburg did not have before the Wicks made the investment. We really invest a lot into our small businesses because, you know, small business is the backbone of our communities. We want our communities to be successful, so therefore we need our small business to be successful. You know, if I can be a partner and a resource for a business owner to help them achieve the things that they want to achieve, uh, then everyone wins. We think one of the greatest things that, that comes out of doing business is making sure you're doing it for the right reasons with people in mind mm -hmm. and bringing other people who have that shared value and interest uh, along with you. Uh, partnerships such as regions, partnerships with the city, partnerships with uh, others who have gone before us and already done business. We didn't invent ax throwing. It's been right. around for a long time mm -hmm. and so we didn't need to reinvent it. Uh, right. We had an idea, we had a vision for the way we wanted it to look to fit with the character of our building and we put a lot of energy and time and effort uh, mm -hmm. into making that happen, right. uh, but we didn't do it alone. <laughs>